here are four kinds of sand that can totally ruin your concrete, or kind of ruin your concrete, or at least be totally inconvenient for your concrete. <laughs> Utility sand. Utility sand could be called tube sand. Utility sand might go by a few different names, but this is your lowest common denominator for sand product. It's got stones, it's probably got bottle caps and fingernails, who knows what's in there. It's primarily used for traction, for example. You would put it under a car that's stuck in the snow in hopes of getting some traction, or other utility uses like building construction roads. It can be used in concrete or mortar mixes but it is far from ideal. If you're making concrete, then having some gravel or some larger stones in with your sand is not really a bad thing at all. But if you're making a mortar, especially any kind of high quality mortar, the presence of the larger aggregates is going to be a problem for sure and utility sand is something you want to avoid. Play sand. It's very common for people to ask about using play sand in concrete or mortar mixes, but you should definitely avoid this. The reason why is that play sand is rounded. Rounded means that it's comfortable for use in a sandbox. There's no sharp or jagged edges, but those sharp or jagged edges are ideal for making a strong mortar. Play sand is sterilized, and that is good for making concrete or mortar, but being rounded makes it less than ideal. It's very convenient. Almost every hardware store carries play sand of one kind or another, but you just shouldn't use it for making concrete or mortar. There are much better options. Beach sand. I mean, there's so much of it. Just fill up your buckets or even a whole truck. Who even cares? Well, first of all, it might actually be illegal for you to collect that beach sand, but more importantly, it's not good for making concrete or mortar with. Beach sand is dirty. You need clean, washed sand for making concrete and mortar. While some beach sand is coarse, most isn't. Most is too fine to use for concrete or mortar. Quite often, beach sand will be rounded, like play sand, from being tumbled in the water. And as we learned before, rounded is no good for making concrete or mortar. It's like gluing ping pong balls together, as opposed to gluing Lego blocks together. It's a lot easier to make something strong out of glued Lego than it is glued ping pong balls. Desert sand. If you happen to have a desert in your backyard, don't use it for making concrete and mortar. Much like tumbled beach sand or play sand, desert sand is too smooth to use for concrete or mortar applications. In addition to being smooth, it's also very, very fine, which is not ideal for making concrete. There might be a lot of sand products out there that aren't the right thing to use, but there's also a lot of good sand to use like masonry sand or brick sand. There's a lot of options. Head down to your local hardware store and see what you can find or find a landscaping yard that deals in bulk aggregates. Thank mm -hmm. you.